Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back for another episode of Victor 3 as Kingdom of Heaven. In the previous episode, we managed to expand our colony in uh, Niger a bit further. We got uh, some partial states. I mean, some of the states we already had partially uh, in our control anyway. Or, well, our, our colony's control, I suppose, in this case. Uh, but we did incur quite a bit of infamy during that, so we're kind of letting that go down. We're getting a... Oh, we'll discover an outer Hasland. Well, there we go. That's a good start. How much is that? There's, okay, there's only two right now, so it's not all that much. There might be like a third one uh, if we conquer all of these, but uh, it's not going to be a whole that much oil yet. I'm sure that that will at least increase. And we're building quite a bit of ports because we were running a little bit low on convoys. I'm sure that that will um, get fixed one way or the other. I mean, we'll probably be doing a lot more trade soon enough anyway. We've still got the expedition in um, Antarctic, which... It's ongoing, it's not actually very effective quite yet, but it's ongoing. And uh, a grand exhibition is underway, and that is probably going to give us a quite a bit of prestige and all that. And we already have a 154 out of 100. Okay, so there is uh, Commerce Portugal, okay. Yeah, I don't really want to get involved with that one, to be fair. Uh, so we were also preparing a little bit on a potential war against Austria, but right now, since we've got such massive infamy, it might be best not to do it, at least quite yet. A donation of knowledge. University in Malta. Sure, I'll take it. Oh, right, we weren't actually at Amax in Innovation anymore. Well, we are now again, but uh, for a brief moment there, we were not. In that case, we might want to go ahead and get another university in places like Campania. It's only one level in there, that's fine. There's a quite a bit of uh, employment options in there. We will get up to level 5 total. We need to increase the power plants there a decent bit. Is there any... We don't have motor engines there. No, we actually do. Alright, let's start producing some electric engines then. Also, we could probably reduce the worker numbers here a tiny bit. Actually, this one probably doesn't need to reduce it too much. We've got still about 200,000 peasants in there. But the electricity price on itself, it's probably going to be a bit of a problem. So we'll build a few more in here. How much is that deficit in there. There's 300. We only get, what, 50 per? Okay, so we'll just go ahead and increase these to level 10. There we go. So we've got 180, well, almost 187 million GDP. How are we doing compared to Jing? Um, we're still about 13 million or 14 million, somewhere around there uh, behind them. But at least our standard living is already 16.9. But number 10 worldwide, if we do have a look at the top 10, so Sweden is not that far off, uh, Netherlands is not far off, Uruguay is a pretty th distant, and Switzerland is pretty distant already. Then French Republic is at 18, oh wow. That's pretty good, and the Belgium, Australia, Schleswig, and Sambas. Sambas at 20, that's actually quite impressive. But our GDP and standard of living and all that is definitely on the rise, so I'm not too worried about it, all things considered. The elevators are going to be built soon, so that means that we can get the arcades, I suppose. Although, I don't know if we need them, quite frankly. Probably not initially. Ooh, there we go, almost 190 million GDP. And we had a general down. Okay, who died? Ah, one of these. I guess we'll get... Oh, well, the brave and defensive strategy. That is actually potentially quite useful. Although the heavy barrage, what does that do? Uh, less occupation, more devastation, kill rate goes up. Okay. Advancement speed is increased. Actually, it's less. It's halved. Uh, raffle... More morale loss, morale damage is increased though. I think we're actually going to take that artillery commander. Like getting that extra offense from the artillery is not a bad thing. I'm going to go ahead and promote that as well in case we want to increase the army even further. But that's a pretty decent going in there. We're still in medium peril on the expedition. It's uh, not gone forward all that much yet. Well, it will. Getting more exiles in the meanwhile. And it looks like the amount of convoys that we have is definitely on the rise. Now, one good thing is that uh, with Austria, they don't have a lot of a fleet. They do have a decent-sized army, but if we can get someone like Britain to help us, it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, but our fleet can basically dominate them entirely, so they wouldn't really have a, a lot of convoys going in or out. And thus, their economy would probably sh suffer quite heavily if we were to fight them. And we might do a war against them once we get the... Well, essentially, once we get the radius produced. And we can start switching a lot of the troop qualities. So I think we'll just focus on the production text for a little while. After the elevators. Oh. Belgium is having a revolution. Or one of the vassals or colonies is having. Alright then. Well, I'm just going to declare neutrality on that one. I'm not really there. 
And Britain is having a Commodus East Africa. Oh, so how did they... Oh, right, that war is still ongoing. The Commodus East Africa, well, that's probably going to get crushed, I reckon. Oh, and Britain is still... Or British Congo, rather, at least, is fighting against Wadai. But neither side is really... Oh, wow, no, no, no. I think it's... Actually, there are no armies on there. Wadai doesn't have a general, and the British side hasn't brought in any troops there yet. Well, there we go. There's the elevators. Let's actually have a look at the arcade, just to have a look at what exactly... Ah, so it requires electricity, more steel, give us a bit more services, and reduce the labors, increase clerks and shopkeepers. Uh, I don't know, well, I suppose there might be some areas where that is kind of viable, but in a lot of places it's probably not needed. But I suppose Umbria is at least one of them, so does that actually reduce the total employment? Uh, no, it does not. I guess we'll get some more services in here regardless. Uh, we could go for the, well, the probably motor carriages. That would reduce the labor need a little bit, but also increase the automobiles requirements. So I think we will have to avoid that one. Is there any other industries over here that we could maybe switch to a bit more, uh, less worker-intensive productions? I think over here in Umbria, we've done most of the things already. I suppose the prior electrolysis is one of the things that we could do. Would require a bit more fertilizer, paper, and electricity, but reduce the labor need quite a bit. But most of these aren't really something we can do much about. So that's all right. But what are we at? 190, almost 192 GDP, or million in GDP. So that's pretty decent. We might want to get some more power production in Lazia. There's not a lot of uh, workers available in here, though. So let's. Uh, we've got quite a bit of transportation, I reckon. Let me just go quickly through the. Um, I suppose they... Oh, we could put tractors in here. Less tools, more engines. That's reduce laborers quite a bit. You know what? Yeah, we'll do that. The livestock ranches, I suppose. Well, I could potentially put the electric fences. Reduce laborers even further. Although the electric price is also going to start going up a little bit. Beyond uh, our usual requirements. We can... Um... Alright, we've got the rail lock cards already. Um, I think... I'm going to put the chainsaws in here. Just for the heck of it. It might not be profitable right now. Mostly because of the high cost of electricity and oil. Okay, communist Holstein. So there's communist revolutions everywhere right now. Ooh, political agitation is spreading. All right, then. Uh, so in military, we're getting the carriers in society. Political agitation. What does that give? More authority. More potential agitators. I mean, never expect to stand all living from literature. Uh, I don't know if we want to uh, rush that one right now until we at least get the... Well, especially the telephones and then radios. We kind of need both of those. Plus also the steam turbines and plastics. There's so many things that we needed. Now one of the good things is that once we get the... Uh, at least the steam turbines. Um, of course we will need a lot more oil for this plan. But so what we can then do is start putting in a lot more of the conveyor belts. Which we are now researching. And thus reduce the labour need in a lot of places. We have been a bit reluctant on utilising all the best uh, practices perhaps uh, thus far. Uh, but right now the industries have been... Um, Exploding in size, let's put it that way. Uh, do we have a lot of electricity in here? We've got a little bit, but I don't think we have enough to switch uh, this many motor industries to use electricity. We could, on the other hand, use the prime electrolysis, provide more explosives, and then furniture manufacturing, that's already set up correctly. Paper mills, that's also set up correctly. Textile mill. Uh, we got the automatic power looms already. We've got a bit of a uh, high demand on electricity, mind you. So are we building an electricity or power plant in here? Not really, but we could probably get another few at least. Oh, this is uh, wars everywhere happening. The Great Chain is having a small, well, one of the uh, subjects is having a commerce revolution, I believe. Let's see, we still can't really, well, I mean, yeah, we probably won't be able to complete the Suez Canal. I mean, technically speaking, if we were to do a war against Egypt, we might be able to take Suez, or Sinai, the state, and then build it in there. Uh, Antarctic Expedition. That is still ongoing. Dreadnought Warfare. Well, we don't have any Dreadnoughts yet. We don't have a radius for that. Strange Marks. During the expedition advance through the snow, a strange rock with unknown marks has been discovered. Partly buried under their feet. Uh, stop and study it. We get progress. Or expedition is slightly delayed. Or um, gain minor peril. You know what? I'm going to try that. We didn't gain peril. We may have been delayed a little bit. But I don't think we got any progress in there directly at least. Still a few years. Oh, right. Metropolitan Railway. Open center is pretty high. So we need to have the railway in Lazio to be level 5. Give that a few levels then. 
And we're already using the electric train, so that's going to give us a bit of bonus there. There we go. We're building quite a bit of power plants right now and railways, so it's mostly just infrastructure while the private sector is building all the industry. I suppose if it works, it works. I'm looking on the ledger in terms of prestige. We're pretty close to Russia, so Russia has overtaken us for a brief moment. And to be fair, it might be partially because they are currently at war. Or they are at least uh, about to be in a war and all that, so that probably helps them a bit. The standard of living is 11. We've got 17 now. That's pretty decent. If we do have a look at the standard of living, so Finland is actually... Oh, no, they're not as high as we are now on the ranking there. A matter of business. Uh, oh, right, this is the shopkeepers again. Uh, we'll just take an extra three in there. What are we at now? 163. All right, then. That's pretty decent. We probably don't want to start any wars while we got the Grand Expedition going so that we can get the max or as high score in there as possible. But after that is done, we'll probably do a bit more conquest down in Africa. Maybe another war against the culture. We don't have any truce with them anymore. We could potentially just conquer all of that, give that to our colony, and then maybe clear out this mess down here. I don't think either side has any troops there. It's the problem. And then uh, Bagirami is something we'll probably want to conquer. We could actually probably do a war against Vardai. Oh, there's air in here still. Oh. How are they still alive? they got some small bit of population somewhere in here. But this seems like it's impassable terrain. All of this. So I don't know where exactly they are. Oh, well. Oh, is that? Oh, right. And that's impassable from this side as well. Right, so would I? If I was to start a war against you, am I able to do that? I could. I could go for a chat. I mean, how much is that infamy? 6.7. That's... We can probably take a little bit of lack of um, stuff in there. How much is that total? So that's, uh, let's see, 6 7, 13, 14.2. Uh, that's a bit too much right now. So we'll wait maybe a few more months. Because it seems like this war isn't going anywhere. And, oh, right, literature rate is now almost 84%. I think it's kind of uh, reach as... Uh, not the highest, but it's a lot harder to get it any higher right now because we can't get the education laws any higher. Or the institution any higher. Because of the laws that we have and not going to be changing those either. Uh, planning of uh, exhibition calls controversy as its uh, opening approaches. Members of the Roman Korea have expressed their concerns about a mass of visitors becoming a potential revolutionary mob. Okay, so either we take a minus two on uh, Roman Korea's approval. Or we take my, uh, minus one of the points on the Krant exhibition. I think uh, we can afford losing two points there. We've still got about uh, three years for the exhibition. The expedition in Antarctic hasn't gone all that far yet. Oh, we had another general die. Right, it was the one that we had in here. All right. We're going to take the brave defensive strategy, I suppose. Give that a promotion. There we go. We're down to 300 bureaucracy right now, and I don't think there's much I can do in here directly. I mean, we could maybe increase the work for safety at some point, but not really need it right now. We might want to go ahead and build a few more government administrations, though, just to be on the safe side. Oh, no, there's still actually war. Never mind. For a moment, I thought that there wasn't any... Well, I mean, there is no fighting in here directly, admittedly, so... Uh, is there... So there's two rigs there. Uh, they are going to be... No Ulrichs in here, at least not yet. Oh, communist Hesher. So, there's just a constant communist revolution everywhere in the world. Except in our nation. How's the investment boy? Oh, wow, that investment boy is massive. Alright then, uh, let's go ahead and give a few more construction sectors down here. At least two over there. We could maybe... We don't actually need to increase the ones in Piedmon. It's starting to run a little bit low on workers there anyway. And what I could do maybe is put in the water to boilers at least. Reduce some workers. It will increase the demand for coal, admittedly, which I guess means that there's going to be maybe some more people that will start producing, or some of the colonies at least start producing more, if they are able to. But of course there's no guarantee that they will. It's kind of beyond our hands right now. Oh, right, we do control part of Wadai already. I see. And then part of uh, chat, so we control both of these partially. So it's, uh, what, 14.2 was the amount of uh, infamy, so it, once we wait to, like, about 35.5 in for me. We can do the war without having to... Oh. And then wage subsidies. Political movement. Oh, interesting. And there's the conveyors. There we go. Um, I'm going to put in the telephone. and see if that starts spreading or well, I kind of want to get that uh, underway. So we can get some telephones. That's going to be really handy for various things. And of course getting the radius would be really useful. So... Oh, it is spreading. Well, there we go. Very handy. 
and the conveyors. I suppose what we can do, uh, if we have a look at places uh, where there's uh, not a huge price of electricity, like over here, we could probably go and uh, use the assembly lines in here. It will require a bit of oil, though. So it's not necessarily that useful in all cases. Maybe put in even the electric engines production in here. It's already producing cars as well. So there's actually a decent bit of uh, unemployment still in here. Maybe we could go ahead and build another two power plants or something. The power plants weren't fully active yet. So that's part of the reason why it wasn't uh, providing all that much. We've still got a small um, profit right now. Or surplus in our treasury. A matter of business. Right, it's the extra fee again. It's just the same event over and over again. I guess we'll just take some more loaders from the shopkeepers now. There's probably a decent bit of shopkeepers in here. Let's see. Um, yeah, there's a relatively large portion in there. And standard living 17.8 in there. My goodness, that is actually quite impressive. Uh, how's Malta looking like? We haven't really paid much attention to it. Uh, there's no peasants or unemployed available. Uh, there's a bit of urban center. I suppose we could put in the... If we put in the automobiles in there, we only need like one in there anyway. That's not going to be too bad. We could probably put in the gas street lights, although that would increase the workers needed, so maybe not that one. Current markers, that's probably good enough. Right, we got the fertilizer already maxed out there. We got the tractors maxed out there. Cotton plantation, we can't really do much. Sugar plantation is already also topped off there. Got a naval base there, which is not necessarily needed, admittedly. What about the railway? Is there something that I Oh! Fuel railway carrier. Okay, that increases the clerk's availability. We don't actually need that one then. In that case, we could probably just... Hmm. Yeah, we've got so much transportation. We can go for cargo prioritization in here. That's uh, going to relieve a little bit more workers for other things. Is the population growing in here? Not really, no. Okay, now it's slightly growing. But the standard living is only 16.6. .6, so that is below the average. So if we can improve the situations in places like uh, Malta... That will probably give... Okay, Sicily could also use a bit of boost, maybe. Not as bad, but there's not a lot of uh, extra workers available. Uh, maybe we'll go ahead and... Do we have extra power in here? We've got some. We've got 20 surplus, essentially. If we go for the automatic power loops, that would be 20 power. Okay, that's not too bad. That's going to give us 2,000 extra workers. Which I suppose we could probably give... Uh... Oh, is that... That's not working full speed either. Okay... Steel mills, we could maybe go for the rotary of our engines. That's going to free up a few more workers as well. Uh, so we do have still a whole lot of sulfur mines that we could build in here. As well as some logging camps, actually. And that's not a huge problem for us right now. So what are we at? 36.4 in for me. So we're not going to start the war against uh, Wadai quite yet. Who is still at war? We kind of do... Oh, I actually wonder. Communist Congo. Did I declare war on you directly? No. I was wondering, like, if I could take some land from them, that'd be brilliant, but uh, probably not going to happen. Evil Niger is attacking... Oh, no, they got a revolution in here. When did that happen? Must have not have paid attention. Well, they got the revolution there. They do have the army advantage. Oh, quite a bit, actually. So I don't think this is going to be a too bad of war, I reckon. Assuming that they don't suddenly get... Yeah, that's just the uprising, luckily. Oh, the house... Still... Okay, there's a bit more wounded on the... Colony or our colony side of things, but less dead. And of course, they got a larger military activated. Well, in theory, at least. They seem to be winning the battles regardless, so yeah, that's fine. I guess they didn't activate most of the troops then. I mean, if they don't have to, I guess that makes sense. Okay, so we're back to 35.4 infamy. We'll just wait until we get back to 35 infamy, then we can declare the war on Wadai. And then we'll have a route through Sahara. Completely through our protectorate, or do dominion, I suppose, in uh, the Politania. They are dominion, right? Yes, they are dominion. So we can then um, move th troops through there. And so what the transportation might also move through there. Or like the uh, market access might go through that then. Which would be quite handy. At least impartially. Although that then means that Tripolitania needs to make sure that they got their... Um, Infrastructure levels uh, sorted. There was a war between Brazil and Chile. How does South America look like right now? Wait, why is that war about? Congress Santiago. Alright then. Oh, we got a new Pope. Tommaso. Oh, an Admiral. Alright then. The Luddite? Hold on a minute. There you are, Luddite. Uh, industry band and agrarianism you support or endorse a trade policy protectionism and isolationism. Um, 
How about no? Question mark? No. This might turn into quite a conflict in here. So, France and Russia are potentially fighting one another. When suddenly, oh, now that we've got the ruler chains, we've got a massive lack of uh, both bureaucracy and authority. Is that because of the... No, Petit Bourgeois is still giving us this stuff. Uh, Roman Korea isn't quite as happy with us right now. Oh, because they're not in the government. And we've got a massive lack of uh, authority. Right, let's have a look at the authority or the decrease right now. The actions, we can probably just go ahead and remove some of the resource industry, at least in Sicily. Because we don't need that much stuff there. Romania probably could uh, be reduced as well. We'll probably leave these two. Agricultural industries, we probably don't need to worry about that much anymore. I'm going to remove those. And manufacturing industries, uh, I think a Abruzzo might be something we could remove. Uh, Saskina, we kind of want to keep uh, Emilia. Hmm. We'll take Umbria away and Emilia. There we go. So now we don't have the lack of uh, authority anymore. And that's uh, going to start keeping Ro Roman Korea in a bit better mood. I suppose we could... Oh, right. So where is the current ruler from? You are from Korea. Ah, right. So we could probably switch the government a little bit around. There we go. Now the legitimacy is back to 94%. Much, much better. And that will probably keep... Um... Oh, yeah. There we go. We are getting the boost from here. At least with the birth rate. I suppose the authority, we don't get any further boost right now. I'm hoping that the standard of living is not going to suffer too much from all of that. We've got quite a bit of um, lack of bureaucracy right now. So I suppose that's something that we are going to be fixing in here. But another five uh, government administration buildings. Oh, Russia's importing rubber from our market. And France is importing ammunition from our market. Well, I, mean, I suppose that's good. Oh, there we go. We're at 200 million now in GDP. Uh, although we're not quite surpassing, um, by the looks of it, Russia. Oh, no. Great Jing is the one that we need to surpass. We're not also passing Russia into the prestige quite yet. But that's hopefully going to get to switch around soon enough. Uh, how much do we get prestige from uh, production leaders? Oh, wow. Okay, so soul for with the number one. Uh, fine art with number three. So we do get a decent bit of prestige from that. But we could probably increase that a bit further. But let's actually take a quick look at our market prices. So oil is pretty high demand. Although there has been a bit more production for it now. Coal is in pretty high demand. And ste well, steel is actually fine. Got a little bit extra groceries. Could we sell that somewhere? Uh, I mean, we could, but not for a good profit. Actually, that's another thing that I could do. I could start cancelling some of the trade routes. Although most of these aren't necessarily going to be all that much uh, reduction in the things. But, uh, oh yeah, that reduced the bureaucracy a tiny bit. The Russian uh, trade, but most of these don't really have any impact. Oh, well, there we go. There's a uh, demand for telephones already. How many apps are that in Switzerland? No, Dahomey. Ah, okay. Pedal Niger is wanting to get that. Ah, there we go. The Bordeaux Uprising has been dealt with. And we are now below 35 infamy, so I think it could be time to start the diplomatic play against uh, Wadai. So we'll start with Chad. They might take it, but it's unlikely. Oh, never mind. Well, let's go ahead and give that to Pebble Niger then. So at least we got this area now connected all the way through. So is this now market access? Uh, how is it looking in here? There is some discoverable resource up here. And it looks like the turmoil is reducing quite heavily now. Well, at least it went down a decent bit there. Okay, maybe it isn't quite as good as I was hoping for. Ooh, rubber discover in uh, Yoruba states in uh, Oyo. Alright, then how much is there? There's 11. Okay, that's actually pretty decent. Well, we got a little bit infamy from that war, but it wasn't too bad. Oh, um, a matter of business. Uh, yeah, we'll just take the extra, um, shopkeeper loyalist. A trans mountains. The expedition has arrived through eternal days. Oh, right, we've been here before, haven't we? A new challenge of eight, as the route's been scarcely documented. Uh, we'll either just continue on, or, you know, we'll find a new route. Hey, we got some progress. There we go. So, Bagarimi, if I was to do a war against you, is there a chance that you would accept that? Uh, they will not accept. Okay. That on something that we'd have to then fight. I mean, that wouldn't be too bad, mind you. But that would give us... Oh, wait. Is this part of Wadai? Yes. Okay. So, we already own part of that. Very small part of that, mind you. So we're going to do that. Oh, we can do a war against Darfur. Are they part of it? They're not part of any market... The relations are being improved, but that's about it. 
So we potentially get up to here and, well, that wouldn't really do much in the... Unless if we get that one, we might be able to buy... Well, I don't think we can buy directly, but maybe we can get Equatoria from Britain at some point. And then we'd have a land route from Abyssinia all the way to Niger. I don't know if there is a chance to make a colony in Egypt, though. Well, there's the Ethiopia. Maybe there is. But I don't think I've ever seen it. Oh, more rubber. Okay, that's good. The oil is going to get a bit richer then. Uh, we've still got a bit of lack of um, bureaucracy. We, okay, Unreal Ascent is 34,000. Right, that's a bit bad uh, situation there. And insufficient construction for investment port. Oh. I suppose I could just, you know, not produce any stuff with the... Where did we get these armies? Right, this one's uh, not needed. I think we inherited some of the armies from uh, our recent conquest there. The Six Papal Army isn't needed. That's at least some of the problems. So we do need quite a bit of oil and coal. Uh, where could we buy coal from? British market seems like a fairly profitable, so we can do that one. The French market we could probably buy some from. We can start reducing the production cost for our various things. That might be a good idea. Uh, we do still need a whole lot more bureaucracy, though. At least the population has been, well, steadily still increasing. And our living is 17.1. Uh, That's not too shabby. Uh, how's the exhibition? So we got 170 points there out of 100. So that's pretty decent, all things considered. Uh, how are we doing on the research? The telephone is going to be seven or six to eight weeks now. That will be done soon. And then what we can do is uh, maybe go for the steam turbine. And then maybe the radio. Or plastic. Plastic wouldn't be too bad either for the extra class. We'll go for the radio so we can upgrade our troops. After that we can then start going for other categories but there's no point in queuing up the ones uh, that are currently being researched because by the time we have researched these three uh, these two will probably be researched already that are currently spreading so yeah uh, we'll just leave it be for now looks like innovation is still mostly underway uh, so is the war between Russia and France oh yeah well technically speaking it's uh, Brazil and Chile that has started but um, France is going to be naval invading Ingria oh interesting so they might push Russia out of the war. So what's the war goals on this anyway? Regime change in Brazil and open Brazilian markets. Or Congo, Santiago and Los Rios. These two states that they want to take. Brazil though, that's a bit of a stretch. Oh, and there's... Oh, right, there's fighting in here. Because they do share a border indeed. It's a very narrow from that, mind you. Probably very heavy of fighting. And we're going to exile from Greece. Uh, how's our relations with Greece? They are still our market. Uh, we could form an alliance with them. Sure, we'll take that. We also got Britain as an alliance or ally right now, I think. Or did that get uh, cancelled? We've got neutral relations. I'm going to improve relations with them. Uh, no, I think that alliance got cut out. But well, we were allied with them for a brief moment anyway. And there is the telephone. Uh, right, I think that's something that we'll probably want to start producing at least a little bit. I reckon that's probably going to be fairly profitable, although it will require lead, iron, tools, and rubber. But where do we get the... Well, I suppose Piedmont has probably got a decent bit of... Actually, there's not that many job seekers there. Campania might be... Mm, it's only 27,000 there. Lazio's got... Oh, wow. Very little. Venetia? That's also quite small. So we'll put one in Piedmont and one in Lombardy. Get a little bit of... Uh, Telephone production, at least. And I think at this point, we might have to go ha and... Uh, let's actually have a look. The only we've still probably got quite a few that aren't using the uh, reduction. So furniture, we'll definitely go with the rotor of engines pretty much everywhere. We'll require quite a bit of tools and all that. Uh, not necessarily want to use too much oil right now, admittedly. We can go for the rotor of engine in the, all the paper mills. That's going to save us quite a bit. Fertilizer plants, I suppose. That would require a lot of oil, so we might not go full on that one. I mean, it's probably not the best right now. Steel mills, uh, the electric art process might be okay in some places, but that would require a lot of electricity, mind you. So actually, which ones are not in that one right now? Romania is in electric art process. Lazio is not. How bad would it be for the electricity price? It's not too bad, so we can switch that one in. Also put the rotor of engine in there. So at least we can put in this on all of them to reduce the worker need. It might not be profitable everywhere, but we'll do it regardless. We've got quite a few steel mills. I didn't realize that we have. Oh, we've got 92 levels here. Yeah, no, that makes sense. 
The motor industries, so we've done already some changes there, but I suppose we could go with the rotor valve engine in most places. Actually, we can just go with all of them. It might increase the worker need in a few areas. How's the shipyard still? Are we still producing clippers? We are. I don't think most of these clipper productions are profitable, though. No one needed the steamships necessarily, but... Uh, I'll just put everything to steamships. I don't think there's a lot of clippers needed on the market. Admittedly, they, well, we've got a decent bit of extra steamers production already, but it's not the worst. In recognition of accomplishments. Uh, with the recent investment in Piedmont, the raw goods industry has resulted in positive balance uh, for the lead mines there. Interest groups are quick to try to claim the credit for this investment. We'll credit the industrialists. They're already in the government anyway. Ooh, pasteurization is spreading. Ah, right. Um, okay, well, I suppose I could go for that one real quick then. And then maybe go for steam turbine. I mean, this would be, well... It might reduce the, some of the workers needed, so it's not all bad. It will require a bit more electricity, though, but for that we need the steam turbine, most likely, to get the best out of it. But with that, we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you have it already. I'll also have the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye.